Hey everybody, welcome in. If this is your first video with me, welcome back if it is not. Either way, really excited that you're here and really grateful you've decided to spend just a little bit of your day with me today. So today's video is gonna be a little bit of a haul, a little bit of an unboxing. I recently bought some pin sets from Amazon and it's a little bit different. And so I wanted to kind of show you guys what's going on with that. I wanted to go over those with you. So if you are ready to see these pins, let's get started, shall we? I'm Rachel and this is Attainable Disney. Okay guys, so like I said, I recently bought some pin sets from Amazon and I wanted to show you guys. So these are, they're, they're cool. I think they're interesting. So um, they are Marvel branded pin sets and they are only available at Amazon. Okay, so uh, Amazon exclusive pin sets. And so I got a few different ones. So I got Black Panther, Loki, WandaVision, and then I got this amazing, it's called the Infinity Saga Endgame Heroes pin set uh, with all of our lady heroes from Endgame. Some super, super cool pins, some really unique pins. A couple things, kind of why I wanted to go over these with you or why I thought you guys might be interested to see. So there's a few things I think that's interesting about these. So one, these are not Disney pins. They do not say Disney on the back. So if you, uh, I don't know if you can see, so just says Marvel on the back. Now, of course, they are still officially licensed, right? I mean, it's Amazon and Marvel. They are officially licensed. However, they would, they are not tradable in the parks, right? So the saying Disney on the back is sort of the baseline for a pin to be tradable in the parks. Personally, I think trading your pins in the parks is a bad deal. Uh, I've never seen a pin on those pin boards that's worth a dime. Um, so I don't know. So I would not, I would not like buy a pin or not buy a pin based on its tradability in the parks. I don't love fantasy pins, but these are not that, right? So they're not like Disney trading pins, but they're not fantasy pins. So I don't know, hopefully that makes sense for you. The really interesting part, here at Attainable Disney, we love a good deal, right? We like things to be attainable, to be accessible. We don't want things to be too expensive. We like we like a deal. We're cheap, basically. So, you know, I had my eye on this set for a while. And it's expensive. It's $60. Now, which, at the end of the day, it's, what, 10 pins? So, it's I mean, it's per pin. It's, it's actually really not that expensive. But $60 still just feels like a lot of money. I loved this one. So, actually, Lauren at Castles, Capes, and Clones unboxed this one. And I was like, oh, my God. I know, like I keep seeing it on Amazon. Amazon really has my number. They keep showing me this. I want it. He unboxed it and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. I'm buying it. And I went to the page, it was $30, $29.99. But then I noticed and it said, so I scrolled down a little bit and it said like buy used and it was like $15. So I like clicked on it and I read about it and it basically said that the packaging was damaged, but that was it. I decided I was gonna I was gonna give it a shot. I mean, for half price, I was like, let's see what this damaged package looks like. And you know, I figure for better or worse, Amazon's a pretty easy company to deal with, like pretty easy to return stuff, send stuff back. So I was like, you know what, if it doesn't work out, I can just I can just return it pretty easily, right? So but if it does work out, I save half price. So let's see. I wanted to show you guys what these quote damaged pin sets look like. So maybe you can see if this is a way for you to maybe get some pins and save some money. Okay. So um, I'm going to pull the camera down so I can show you like really close up kind of what these look like. Okay. Okay guys. So yeah, for this part of the video, I just thought it would be easier if I just you know, put the camera in my hand so I could show you like really close up what the boxes look like. Um, so I'm gonna put on the screen 
the original price and the discounted price, but um, here's the WandaVision set I got. So you can see we've got Wanda and Vision, Agatha, Fake Pietro, and Billy and Tommy. So you can see the front, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, the plastic with the flash, the plastic looks pretty scratched up, but I mean, in general, it looks, it actually looks fine from the front. A little damage there. Um, but you can see the back. The back is pretty, like, significantly wrecked. Um, but it is still sealed. But, yes. So pretty, like a pretty big sort of dent, I guess you could see there on the back. Um, but pins are pretty perfect. Uh, so here's the Loki set that I got. So we've got President Loki, TVA, Miss Minutes, Kid Loki, and Alligator Loki. Again, front of the box looks, I mean, essentially perfect, right? And then... The back, I mean, to me, the back looks, again, perfect. I mean, this, the back looks perfect. This one is um, very little damage. It was ripped there. This one did not come sealed, but the pins are, the pins are perfect. Um, and frankly, the box is pretty perfect, if you ask me. There's the Black Panther set. So these were certainly the highest discounted so you could see the front i mean the front doesn't look great you could see it's ripped there's some tape um it's kind of scuffy right and so i mean it doesn't look great and neither does the back right damaged taped shut box ripped all right but uh, the product is perfect, right? So the pins inside are in perfect condition. I did buy two of the Black Panther sets. So you can see this one, the front is in a little bit better condition. Um, and the back is somewhat beat up. And you can see it is kind of opened. So just... For reference, like here's the Black Panther pins taken out. So you can see the pins are perfect, right? I mean, no scratches or dents. Um, I don't know, I mean, the flash might make them look like a little fingerprinty or whatever, but like the pins are perfect. Posts on the back with the bat. I mean, yeah, so there's no actual damage to the product. It's like literally just the boxes. So guys, this one, this one's interesting, right? So you can see the box is, again, it's like pretty beat up, right? You can see that, like stickers on it. I don't know whatever this sticker is. I don't know. I don't live in Fairfield, California. I don't know. <laughs> uh, right, so you can see this box is pretty beat up, but... Uh, sorry, I needed two hands to do that. But um, the box on the inside, which is like the main container, it's pretty perfect. I mean, there's it's a little dented up there, little like little dented on the bottom or whatever. But it doesn't like really bother me. Still sealed. Uh, this display box has like a you know kind of like a picture frame so that you can set it up so it works perfectly and these incredible pins are in perfect condition so this is the only one that I would really consider keeping in the box um, and not necessarily based on the box's condition but more just like the presentation like these I think just looks so amazing in this box, like all sort of together like this. And I love the like easel on the box. So I don't know, I might keep this in the box, I might not. 
But even though I bought it as damaged, that really was like just the slip case, in my opinion. Now, if you're like a real serious collector and you want everything in like mint condition, you you probably wouldn't like this one. But, you know, I don't know. You got to decide what works for you. So you guys can see for all of these, the damage is pretty much just on the box, right? Um, none of these, the pins are in any way damaged. The pins are all perfect. And, and really the box on a lot of them is, it is fine. So there's, um, you know, some of the, the boxes are, are bad. Some of them are not like this Loki one. I'd wrap it up and give it as a gift. This end game one. I'd wrap it up this one. No, but the pins are still amazing nonetheless. So I think, you know, for a lot of these sets, you know, we saved 50%. The, the black Panther sets were an incredible deal. I can't do math in my head. What did I save? 80%, right? I mean, the super amazing deal. Um, the end game set was a little bit of a discount, not a huge discount, but considering that it's in essentially perfect condition, I'm okay with that. Overall, I think to get some really cool pins from some like Marvel characters and franchises that I really love at a pretty significant discount. And really the only thing is that the box was crushed in some kind of shipping, right? So somewhere in the warehouse that dropped the box or something, right? I'm okay with that. So it's less crap that ends up in a landfill and it's a big deal for me. So I appreciate that, honestly. So um, of course I'm gonna have links below for these pin sets. Um, you know, I don't know if the damaged or like discounted version is going to be available. Um, right. I mean, there's a limited number of, of the damaged ones, so I can't say if there's going to be any left. So I'm going to put the link to the pin sets down below so you guys can shop those if you are interested. Okay. Um, and let me know what questions you guys have. So I'd love to know what you guys think. Have you ever bought anything like this from Amazon? Is this something that you're interested in? Do you think this is weird? How do you feel about the boxes? Like, do you care if the box is, is janky? Do you need the box? Um, I don't know. So just interested to know what you guys think. So let me know your thoughts below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.